Hello everybody, welcome to, once again, another Rookum tutorial, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to glitch walk. Now if you don't already know, glitch walking is a way to go from one place to another, so actually using the joystick or teleporting depending on what you're using. Now let's get right into it. Just a quick note before we start, there are several ways of doing this, there will be timestamps in the description of what the different versions are, but... If you want to skip to the very specific one, then just check out the description. If not, and you just want to see all of them, then, well, let's get right into it. Now, the first method I will talk about is the left and right the method. Start button on the scoreboard so, to play. Bro. Anyway, so, I'm going to be going from this bench to that bench with the swords, without touching my joystick, and to prove it, I will go to teleport mode, so it will be real obvious if I teleport or if I don't. So, you can be smooth on smooth turn, you can be on snap turn, it doesn't matter. I'll be on snap turn for this tutorial, because it is very simple and easy. So all you gotta do, go to settings, controls, swipe, rotate, to snap. And I like to do snap 90, you can turn this on and off. I'll do off, so that way you can look at it. But what you do is, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter, right? Okay, whatever. But what you do is, when you have snap turning on, if you push your look... Um, uh, gosh, but a joystick, sorry, blanked out for a second. Down, it turns you 180 degrees, or just backwards, and if it's perfect. Press the start so, button on the scoreboard. Oh my god, so, what you want to do for this is, if we're going to that bench, you want to lean in that direction, turn 180 degrees, and then we lean back in that direction, turn 180 degrees, we just repeat that process over and over. And as you can see, we are now in the bench, and I did not teleport once. Now the next method, I don't find all that fast, but it is definitely one that people will use. It is front and back. So, once again, we'll be using that bench. What you do is you lean or lunge forward if you want more distance. Turn 180. And like lean backwards, turn 180, lunge forwards, and just repeat this process over and over again. This one takes a lot more energy, but it does seem to be quicker. And now, this is a slight alteration of the first one I just sh I showed you. And instead of going left to right, you just go left to standing. Which some people think is faster, I personally don't. But what you do, again, you lean in the direction you want to go, turn, and then just stand up. Lean, stand up. Lean, stand up. And just like that, we are back at this bench. Now, if you have a big play space, I don't. I personally use a stationary boundary because I don't have that big of a room. But it works with any play space, but a bigger one is advised. This is a... Um, leg exclusive, you're not turning all that much, but what you do is you face in the direction of where you want to go, walk forward in your boundary to your very edge, 280 degrees in the game, Press and then spin around in the the real life. Play. Walk forward in real life, spin, and so oh crap, okay, never mind, and spin, walk forward, spin, spin, walk forward. Just like that, we're back at this bench. Well, that should be four methods. Let's go back to the dorm room for the outro. Thank you for watching this broken tutorial on how to glitch walk. I hope this helped you out on how to glitch walk. And I hope you enjoyed. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.